What basic children's age level fact did you only find out embarrassingly later in life? My 31-year-old girlfriend thought islands don't touch the bottom of the ocean. My grandma always made me eat the crust of my bread because it has the most nutrients. In college when I told my younger cousin that in front of my grandma, she laughed and said, I only told you that so you wouldn't waste the crust. Similarly that if you turn the lights on and off too fast you'll start a fire. Once I became a parent I realized it's just a way to stop kids from being annoying. A few years ago I was searching for different classical pieces in Spotify, getting frustrated that every version Spotify had of works by composers like Beethoven and Bach were, covers, performed by modern orchestras. My idiot brain was looking for original recordings from the 18th century until it finally realized how dumb that was. Once when I was 17 I was losing my mind trying to find cupcake mix in the baking aisle. Only to then have the epiphany that cupcakes are just small cakes. I was 23 when I learned I was allergic to apples. Someone was complaining about their throat closing up after smoking, and I responded with, oh yeah like when you eat an apple? You can imagine how the conversation went from there. LOL. Okay so I grew up on a small farm. We had cows, chickens, pig, rabbits and goats and more. On occasion we had to shear the goats, the goats would hold very still when being sheared. Like statues still, I saw this on pretty regular occasion. When my parents would take me to get a haircut they would tell the barber to give me a billy goat cut. Of course to me this meant hold really still, so I did. Had the same barber for a long time. Eventually he passed when I was in high school leaving me to find a new barber. Imagine my and the new barber's surprise when he said, how do you want it cut? And I said I just want a normal billy goat cut. This is one of those things that makes me cringe at night. My mom used to tell me the car doesn't start if the seatbelts aren't buckled. Didn't know that wasn't a real feature until I was 22. A pony is not a baby horse. I'm 47 and learned that less than a decade ago. Reindeer are a real animal. When I found out about Father Christmas I thought that meant reindeer weren't real. I was very much an adult when I was very confused, and excited, to see one in real life. I had to tell my aunt, at the age of 60, that cats and dogs cannot interbreed and create some sort of hybrid cat dog. She didn't believe me at first, so I had to tell her lots of half people half sheep would be running around if that was the case. I'm from Pennsylvania, when they do the nightly lottery drawings on TV, they always add a reminder at the end, benefits older Pennsylvanians every day. So, naturally, I just assumed that a lot of elderly people won the lottery. When I was a teen I made a joke to my dad about him turning 50 and having a better shot at winning the lottery, and he looked at me like I was nuts. Turns out that benefits older Pennsylvanians every day. Means that the lottery is a fundraiser for senior services, and here I was thinking that it meant grandma was winning millions on her scratch-offs. It took me an embarrassingly long time before I realized that when a movie had a blurb from Rolling Stone, it wasn't the Rolling Stones reviewing it. One of my mates from my master's, grad school, didn't know that there were male and female chickens. He thought roosters and hens were different breeds. The same went for cows, he justifies hating cheese because he thought cow's milk was cow urine. We had to explain to him that piss is not stored in the udders and also asked him what he thought happened when human mothers breastfed newborns. Piss ain't stored in the bits mate. We were 24 at the time. Tim if you're reading this you were way smarter than me at neuroophthalmology lol. I went to Lowe's and in front of everyone asked for strap-ons. The correct word I was looking for was ratchets, tie-downs. My cousin's name. Growing up, we'd always called her Tori, always that and nothing else. A couple years ago, well into my 20s, she's visiting and we go to a restaurant, our waitress comes up and says, hi there, my name's Victoria and I'll be taking care of you. My cousin says, oh neat, that's my name too. I was surprised by that cause my dumbass never put together that Tori was short for Victoria found out that jackalopes are not real in a creation from taxidermist and other folklore. Was absolutely mind-blown and Scooby-Doo betrayed my younger mind. Not me, but a friend of mine didn't learn that Martin Luther and Martin Luther King Jr. weren't the same person until college. There's no chemical in the pool that reveals pee. A buddy and I were talking about it and we both realized at the same time that neither of us have actually seen it. We looked it up and felt dumb as hell thought the former leader of North Korea was Kim Jong II for an embarrassingly long time. I somehow managed to avoid hearing his name said out loud, or written in a serif font, apparently. I had my CPA license before I realized pickles are actually cucumbers. Why there are number 10 birthday candles in stores. I was complaining by about it with my husband and he said, you're supposed to put one and zero together, and that was the lowest point in my entire life. Howdy is short for, how do you do? 
coral is an animal, I always thought it was an undersea plant. I incorrectly said, the brist of it, instead of the gist of it. I used that phrase in conversation for years until one day when I was nearly 30 got corrected by a Jehovah's Witness that came to my door and asked me if I ever read the Bible. I smugly replied I got the brist of it, colon slash. Okay here goes, I am almost a senior citizen. But a couple weeks ago, I learned they actually laid cable across the Atlantic for telegraph. I was in tears when my hubby told me because I thought he was joking with me when he said they laid cable for telegraph, I said, no they didn't, that's impossible. But he was not joking and cable was put between the continents. Then I got very upset because I was never taught that in school. My roommate was 21 when he learned that cows have fur. He thought they were just skin. I am from a northern city in the US. In basic training for the army, I was asked by the chow hall lady if I wanted grits with my eggs, bacon, breakfast. I had literally never seen or heard of them in my life, I lived a relatively sheltered and somewhat ethnic-focused dietary life. I asked her what they were, and she replied, we'll, they're just grits. So asked, as politely as I could, are they an animal, mineral, or vegetable? Luckily, my new friend from Florida was behind me, heard the entire conversation and said to me, they're just corn, somewhere between cream corn and cornmeal. He then said, if you put butter and salt on them, they taste just like butter and salt. Loved that guy, he's probably a general now. Aged 40 I found out that Segway and Segway are different words. My grandpa used to take me fishing a lot as a child. He explained that any noise at all would scare the fish in the lake and ruin fishing for everyone there for hours. On a boat with my husband last month at the age of 28, I realized grandpa just wanted some peace and quiet. I thought an axolotl was a fantasy creature that didn't exist. I mean you can't blame me, just look up a picture of one and tell me that doesn't look straight out of some fantasy movie. As a kid I used to think the black market was an actual place like a bazaar where all the criminals would regularly meet up. That woodchucks and groundhogs are the same animal. I was somewhere in my 30s. My state called them woodchucks, so I never made the connection when I was younger. In college, I had a tough time trying to convince a friend that yellow dandelion flowers were the same as the white puffballs. I had to find a plant that had both stages coming from the same base. I thought until the age of about 21 that when companies had est next to their name, it was estimated that companies were started around that time. It was only when I voiced my disgust profoundly to my then partner that it was ridiculous that no one knew when these companies were formed, and why were they all estimated. She just stared at me blankly for a moment and just went. Established. Penny dropped real hard. When I was four or five my mother brought me home a balloon one day. Plain blue balloon with helium. I accidentally let it go and it flew away. Being little, I was devastated. Later that night she comes back from somewhere and tells me she was at the gas station and miraculously, my balloon just came floating by. Being a kid I was thrilled and totally believed it. So fast forward 20 plus years. I'm on a date and we stop to get gas and we see a balloon floating by the gas station. Probably hadn't thought of that story again in all that time. So I start telling my date the story about how I had a balloon fly away and then my mother found the very same balloon at a gas station and then as I'm saying it out loud I realize, too late to not look like an idiot, that of course it wasn't the same freaking balloon. I've never seen someone laugh so hard. When I was young, I found a Doobie Brothers CD at a relative's. I asked my mom what a Doobie is. She said it's a lady's private part and to never say it. I was 17 before I saw someone call a joint a Doobie. The song, I Saw Mommy Kissing Santa Claus, is not about creepy infidelity, but rather, hinges on the fact that dads sometimes dress up as Santa. Which I realized in my 20s when I brought it up with my Catholic roommate, I'm Jewish, and there's no pretense as to who gives you a pair of socks on the eighth night of Hanukkah. My granddad played this epic decades-long practical joke on me. Every Christmas for as long as I remember, he would put on Jeff Wayne's War of the Worlds, only the first disc, and he said it was a Christmas tradition. Every year without fail, he would put the CD on, regardless of if we were at his house or if he came to us that year. It was only at Christmas 2020, where I had Christmas without seeing any family due to COVID restrictions where I live, that I asked my housemate, do you want me to go stick on War of the Worlds now, or later? Housemate looks at me perplexed? What? You know, War of the Worlds, my granddad insisted it was tradition. Only your granddad does that. I told him over video call Boxing Day. I never heard the old man laugh so hard. I was only able to see the capital, D, in the Disney logo a few months ago. I always wondered why it was a backwards, G. I'm 29 years old. Not my brightest moment. Okay, breaking out the alt account for this one. I am 25 years old. 
I have two degrees and I live on my own. I didn't learn until a few days ago that microwaving metal might start a fire. How can I not know? I don't own any, edited for clarity, metal cups, plates, bowls or serving dishes at home. I know not to leave cutlery in the microwave, but I didn't know it's because they're made of metal. All this time, I thought not putting forks in a microwave is simply an indisputable fact of life without any need for an explanation. I've never questioned it, I just do, and I lived happily ever after alongside this ignorance. Until I don't anymore. During a volunteer shift I was asked to microwave several pet food bowls for our finicky eaters. One of the other volunteers quickly pointed out there are paper plates nearby and then left. I didn't get it, why would I need paper plates? I couldn't figure it out, there's nobody around to ask, and the dogs need their dinners, so I just chucked the bowls in the microwave. The metal bowls, what are those crackling sounds? Huh, that's strange, some sparks are flying. Yeesh maybe this microwave is old. Just as I started wondering if I should take the bowl out, another volunteer walked past, spotted my innocent attempt at arson and straight up dive bombed into the kitchen yelling stop stop stop. Take it out, what are you doing? Luckily I stopped the microwave before Armageddon happened. Unluckily, I now must explain myself. The sheer look on this poor soul's face when I honestly told him I didn't know is still branded to the back of my mind. I swear I could almost hear his thoughts. Am I lying? Has an arsonist, cheers, grammar Nazis, successfully infiltrated their organization? Am I just that dumb? Is it possible to be so dumb? What else do I not know about the world? Am I an alien studying human life? Long story short, the other volunteer gave an overly detailed explanation about why metals can't go into microwaves, I apologize profusely, and now I don't volunteer there anymore. Don't add dish soap to the dishwasher. Found that one out at 26. I swear it's only because I grew up washing dishes by hand. Had a fun time cleaning that mistake. The little pig going, wee wee wee, all the way home, was squealing and not peeing. I was in my 20s before I heard someone say it while squealing the wheeze, and I did a shocked Pikachu face. I had a friend who at 25 found out pepperoni was indeed not a vegetable. He ordered a meat lover supreme. The waitress was both surprised and amused when responding to his concerns about why pepperoni was on this meat-only pizza. I truly believed that for the longest time that hair grew from the ends of the strands, not from the scalp. When I was 13 I asked my friend who had dyed her hair what she was going to do when the ends grew her natural color. Didn't hear the end of it. My stupidity still pains me to this day. Age 22. Kiwis aren't supposed to taste spicy. It turns out I was just allergic. I thought for the longest time that's why people like them. That. No, a scientist doesn't actually know everything about every subject in school. I used to think that they were the masters of the world, knowing everything mankind ever learned. I also thought you needed to be a scientist to be president, but oh well. My mum used to tell me that putting too much vinegar on your chips makes your blood dry up so I've been scared of putting too much on. I'm 25 now and just realized my mum wanted me to save everything due to her being a single mum and in a lot of debt. That Apollo 13 was an actual event and not just a movie starring Tom Hanks. Would have been embarrassing in any context but all the more so when I was working with Captain James Lovell and asked him why he was signing new paperbacks of Apollo 13 with Tom Hanks on the cover, oh, did you work on that movie? I asked, beyond awkward. We had an hour's drive together and so after he patiently explained that he was on that mission and as I had not seen the movie, I asked if he would tell me the story. He laughed and agreed, okay. I've never met anyone who didn't think they already knew the story. Hearing him tell it to me was riveting and special. 25 years later I still cringe but it was one of the best days in my life. He is truly an amazing human. I keep meaning to write it all out for and send it to the moth smiley face. Depends what you consider a child I suppose. But in my mid-twenties I moved up the food chain from server to bartender at the restaurant I worked at. Some one order a Roman coke. I didn't know what was in a Roman coke so I told him so and but that I would figure it out. I figured out that what I had been understanding as a Roman coke my whole drinking life, was in fact a rum and coke. That, I knew how to make. My mother told me that if you swallowed gum it would stick to your ribs. I was in my second year of college in an anatomy class when it hit me that this isn't true. I am over 60 and I found out about a year ago that Zoe was pronounced, Z-O-H-E-E. -E. I always thought that was, Zoe, the diminutive, and, Zoe, was pronounced, Z-O-H. To be fair, I cannot remember ever meeting someone with that name. I recently learned that narwhals are not mythical creatures. As a child I learned that unicorns aren't real. So now I've spent my entire life thinking that if a horse with a horn aren't real, then neither is a whale with a horn. But like, for real? How can we have whales with horns and not horses with horns? It still baffles me. I thought that when you ate, all the food piled up from your feet and then when it reached your butt, you went poop. 
no clue where it came from but I believed it far longer than I should have. That the eggs we cook with would never become baby chicks because they are unfertilized. Space heaters are so named because their heater room, a space, not because they look like futuristic devices from outer space. My great-grandfather had half a pinky on his left hand and always said it was because he liked to use it to sop up leftover pancake syrup and had worn it down to a nub. This made sense to me because I'd seen him do that plenty of times. I was so embarrassed to be in college before I realized that was ridiculous and finally asked him what really happened. In reality, he and my uncle had been working in their blacksmith shop, and my uncle accidentally brought a sledgehammer down on his pinky. He didn't want to traumatize me with the truth as a kid, but by the time I asked, I was more than old enough to handle it. Rolling on the floor laughing. I didn't grow up in a good household, so keep that in mind I guess. I didn't know how to tie my shoes until around 13. I learned what vaginas and penises are in sex education when I was 14. I learned how to bathe myself properly at 15. I learned what condoms were at 16. Southern school, taught abstinence in sex ed. Also learned what masturbation was that year. My husband taught me how to brush my teeth correctly at 20. I am. Learning. Slowly. I didn't know that Shaq and Shaquille O'Neal were the same person. Hehe. <laughs> I, who grew up in a family of punsters, didn't realize why it was called the funny bone until my mid-twenties. I just thought, oh, it's because when you hit it your arm feels funny, instead of getting the humorous, humorous funny connection. That little thing that dangles at the back of your throat isn't your tonsils. I was probably in my 30s when I realized that killing yourself by putting your head in an oven was the gas killing you and not just burning your head off. My brother is 30, has two children, a career and literally cannot tell the time on a standard watch with big and little hands. Ice cream and frozen yogurt are two different things. I believed women peed out of their butts until I was like 16. Pretty sure someone told me that when I was a child and I just never questioned it. Remember when the Tourette's guy from South Park said, piss coming from my ass? Yeah, I believe that actually happened for women. Not me, but my father once stole into the woods during a family camping trip and put marshmallows on a bush, so it looked like they grew on it. My sister made it to post-secondary horticulture before she wised up. I found out a few months ago that foxes aren't cats. It had never occurred to me to say this much about it, but my friends thought it was hilarious when I tried to defend myself. Was all the way to 21 years old. Never paid much mind to the NCAA tournament. Guys around me kept talking about how Yukon would win the tourney, Yukon was unstoppable. I always thought, how can Alaska have such a great basketball team? Until one day I actually saw a tourney bracket and went, oh, Yukon. I thought Graham Crackers was pronounced, Graham Ham. So now that's just how I say it. I also recently found out reindeers are real. I always thought the term, the coast is clear, dot whiz, the ghost is clear, transparent. I thought pesto was a plant. Discovered in my 30s it's basil, parmesan, oil and some other stuff. I just thought it was blended pesto plant. Nothing else. That you can put shower curtains inside your bathtub for showering. That way, your bathroom floor will not get soaked in water, too. I realized it when I was about 27. Asterisk edit. Feeling a little bit better about it after reading all those. That brings back memories, comments, lol. Shower curtains may seem self-explanatory if you grow up with them. But if you did not have them when growing up, they are not quite as obvious to figure out as you might expect, lol.